Peter Productions here today, and today's one video is gonna be how to find your op iPod's um, software on your um, computer itself. Now, um, uh, I recently had my iPod on version 4.1, and I encountered some errors, uh, and uh, I need to I needed to restore it. But for some reason, the um, the so uh, the um, software downloaded from Flexiburns was not working for some reason. Okay, ignore this, guys. I don't know why it's not some error in my computer right now, but ignore this. Um, anyway, so um, I found my I, I downloaded this iPod uh, from FelixBurns.de if you know that website. But um, anyways, I tried it out. It didn't work, so I had to ultimately restore and update it. So I got updated directly to 4.3.2. And which really sucks is that um, you need to use Red Snow for uh, on jailbreaking it, and uh, you need to use Red Snow. That means you need to find your um, iPod software so it can do its stuff. Now um, you need to download it. And for me, um, where I live, uh, I live in India, and the internet connection really sucks. So um, yeah, so I really don't. Uh, want to get uh, my re-downloading stuff and since uh, you can see that I download this is 604.0.608.4 uh, MB quite a big file actually it takes me about long time to ask but anyways I'm gonna show you how to find it out so recently I updated it right and um, your iPod uh, iTunes downloads it for you and there's one place where it actually saves it and then over the time it deletes it so you need to do it quickly um, you need to have uh, this done so whenever you update it automatically deletes the older one so you better do this uh, as a uh, better do this quickly and uh, so it downloads it and uh, I saw a lot of PC videos but no um, uh, I a Mac video so I'm making one here because uh, I well, I searched a lot on my Mac and I finally found one so here we go. You need to be on your username. So my name is uh, Shivam, and uh, yeah. So you need to be on your um, username. You want to go into a library and you want to find out iTunes. Mine's right there, standing out folder. And there's some something should be called iPod software updates. Now, if you have an iPod, it should say iPod. If you have an iPhone, it'll say iPhone. So make sure that is there. And then you double click and you find your restore. So um, uh, here you, uh, you can see that it's 4. Um, 4 comma 1 underscore 4.3.2 this is exactly the version on my iPod right now and now here's a little thing you need to be taking care of while doing this make sure not to delete it from here and uh, but just copy it and take a backup of it don't delete it from here otherwise um when if you face problem again, iTunes will probably go crazy with looking for this uh, restore in its directory. It wouldn't find it there and probably go crazy. So just copy it. That's what I did right now and just uh, paste it. Uh, it's copying for me. What I'm doing is I'm just gonna delete my old one because I really don't need that anymore. And yeah, all I need to do is take a backup of it. Uh, uh, I'll just basically put this in my backup folder right here couple of things I back up so just put that there as you can see right there we go I'm gonna put this in back up and that's it pretty much it thanks for watching guys this is City Productions signing up for today